few hours away from uh, this lunchtime kickoff against Southland United and it's time for another pitch update with Chaz who this morning is the definition of sun's out, guns out. You can tell who the real Devonian is. I've got a coat on and here he is in his t-shirt. Chaz, how's prep been going this morning? Um, well, I thought spring had sprung but it obviously didn't uh, because I uh, planned to double cut this morning uh, coming in at seven. Uh, and unfortunately the frost didn't lift till quarter to nine which was quarter of an hour into our second planned cut so unfortunately we we're only doing a single cut which uh, uh, upset me a bit um, but at least we had bacon and sausage baps to uh, keep the spirits up boys is cutting now um, putting a bit of water on uh, softening it up obviously we've had no rain or no amount of rain since the last game uh, we've put uh, feed on uh, both granular and liquid uh, but unfortunately without the daytime temperature or without the nighttime temperatures keeping the soil temperature up um, it really cuts the growing time down to a matter of a few hours rather than you know uh, virtually all the hours if, if the soil temperature is up so yeah champing at the bit really uh, pitch is going to be absolutely stunning uh, as we walk off it on the last game of the season uh, unfortunately but that's the nature of uh, this season and the way it's been nothing to do with covid just mother nature i'll tell you what every single week without fail you make me hungry you're telling me about your your bacon baps and um, it's a beautiful day though so there's no bad weather on its way it's a dream especially with a game coming up next saturday as well uh yeah yeah um yeah normally the goalie at this end's got his what worry about his cap and everything but with the 12 30 kickoff uh god bless uh Prince Philip um, and uh, all that um, I'll be remembering him this afternoon uh, but yeah so the sun will be nice and high it'll be over the uh, IP office stand um, so there should be no issues with the goalies uh, and the sun in their eyes so no excuses as um, one of our boys fires one into the top corner of the uh, of the, uh, the away goalies net so uh, to win the game hopefully 2-0 well, there you go there's Chaz's prediction Obviously, the springs are still on, you, you know, you're, you're getting the final cut done. Anything else left to do after that? Uh, yeah, just putting a bit of water on, as I say, soften it up a bit or just to make it accept the stud a bit. Uh, still a bit bobbly because of the uneven grass cover. The surface isn't too bad now. We've been working really hard on that. Um, but when the, there's uneven grass growth, there's very little we can do. Uh, and we can't, we're already taking the cut, cut down the last game. We can't take it down any further at the moment. Um, and then there'll be the white lines and we've done most of the furniture already because uh, obviously we've had our day con compressed and we try and get off two hours before they come on here just basically because of covid we try and we try and clear the ground at, at two hours before kickoff and then hand it over to the players and and the coaches so that's kind of where we've been going with this stuff and uh yeah we're uh hoping we're, we're, we're we've had a good prep and hopefully the team have and yeah look forward to watching a decent game Ideal, Chaz. Thanks a lot. We'll uh, let you get back on and, and put those final touches to the pitch. Yeah, thank you very much and God bless, God bless Prince Philip. <laughs>